Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. No, those things will get me. I can't. I gotta keep going. You won't leave me like all the other grown-ups. You... You can help me. Those... Big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please... Please find my papa. It used to be kinda nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Um, besides me and my papa, there was Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his mama and papa, too. I guess they're all gone now. Nah, people don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Alright, what is it? Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. Nah, he was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man, too. That was kind of neat. Yeah? Well, there is Will. He was sorta my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. Yeah, Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. We explored pretty much every bit of Great Itch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. Well, his mom was nice too. She was kind of quiet, but she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean, but he was kind of scary. Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. He was like, always watching me and my dad real careful, like he didn't trust us or something. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. Yeah? Alright, what is it? Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, that's what he used to call them anyway. 
I just call them fire ants. My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Nah. Those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And, well, you know the rest. All right, what is it? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. Nope. All I got is what's left on my back. Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back! <laughs> 